Hello and welcome to BuzzBurner. In this video I want to show you how you can use BuzzBurner to create really compelling and engaging posts. So what I'm going to do, you can see this post right here, or this campaign right here is set to run today. Today's Monday, January 23rd. So what I'm going to do is instead of waiting for it to run automatically on its own, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to tell it to run. So uh, this way it'll actually fire off, it'll go through and generate a post for me. Now this particular campaign I have set to go to draft status. So whatever it creates, it's not going to automatically publish for me. It's going to go to draft status. That's how I have it running on the .com report. On your site, you can do it however you want. I'll show you on a different site how we have things automatically run. We have this particular campaign set to I actually run. Every campaign here runs every two weeks. So this one, last time it ran, was on the 9th of January, and it was set to run again today. And this is for affiliate marketing is the particular campaign. So it's running right now. It's going through the 69 feeds, and it's searching through each individual feed, seeing is there anything in the last two weeks that's been added that meets our criteria. We have certain keywords that we've entered in for this particular campaign, things like affiliate marketing, obviously, uh, maybe certain vendors like Commission Junction, LinkShare, ClickBank, things like that that would involve uh, the, the scope of affiliate marketing. Affiliate Summit would be another example. So it's going through those 69 feeds, pulling in, looking, has anything, now this can happen automatically. Here I have it, I actually click the button. So it's, it's going through all of those feeds, searching through saying, has, is there a match? Has anything uh, come in in the, in the last two weeks that kind of uh, meets what we're looking for? Once it does that, it'll sort through it all, put them in a big bucket, randomly select uh, whatever set for this campaign. I can look in a second, and that will build and create a post for me. Because this one I have set to go to draft status, it will then send me an email telling me, hey, we just built you a post, come and approve it. So we'll show you how that works. So I'm going to pause this real fast because the, it's actually running and processing, and then I'll reload it. Uh, I'll start it up for you again and show you what we have. Okay, we're back. Now that took a couple minutes. There are 69 feeds, so that is one thing for you to know is that if you have a large number of feeds, it could take anywhere from a couple minutes to maybe three to five minutes to actually process. So it, the campaign is run. It's generated a post. So if we come over here and we look at the post, you'll see that here it is. Here's the post it created. Like I, like I shared with you, I have it set to send everything to draft status. So you can see it put it into the affiliate marketing category. Uh, I use the .com editor as the, uh, as the author on this particular one. And so here's the tags that it created. And so really, I could have had this automatically be published, but I like to come in here for this particular site and have do the final curation myself. It's just one of the things that I like to do. So uh, I come over here and click on visual. And here's the, the post it created. I could approve this if I wanted to, send it straight to uh, be listed on my site, or I can go through here and say, hey, is there anything that just really doesn't flow well? So I, I like to do that myself. So I'm gonna go through here and, and basically what I do with this particular site, most of the other sites I just have them auto run and a post for me, but I figured I would show this as an example as this is the most hands-on that I have it running anywhere. So this uh, obviously right here is a this is affiliate marketing uh, post. This obviously uh, fits in well with that. Um, this obviously fits in well with that. So I'm not. Gonna, I'm just quickly going through this. So this one right here really doesn't. So typically, if I see something like this, I could just go through here and delete it, just like that. So I'll, call, I'll pause this, I'll quickly go through here and delete the, usually it's somewhere between two or three p items that I delete. So I'll pause this real fast and then I'll bring you back. Okay, so I'm back. That took a couple of, uh, about 10, 15 seconds, didn't take long at all. Just quickly went through there, saw how it looked, and then all I did is I typed uh, I typed this quick little introductory paragraph, and that was it. That's the extent of, uh, of it all. Um, because, and then I just asked a couple questions, and so then I just clicked the publish button, and then here was the end result of it. A great blog post 
packed full of content that uh, people find enjoyable. It actually adds value to to the readers of the site. And so, like I said, this is the this is a you can see these go back for quite some time where these have been published here. Um, so I've done this for qu quite a while, and it really has a uh, a very high perceived value from from the readers. And if you've received one of these from me before, um, you probably thought I spent a long time collecting and sorting and so forth when really it's all automated. So that's how you can use bu uh, BuzzBurner in a format where it's auto collected and sorted and, and really presented to you in a format where you spend uh, you know 10-15 seconds quickly scanning and approving. Now there's another way that I use BuzzBurner on another site and I'll show you how that works where it's completely automated and that is on this site called FCD Nation and if we were to go over here to FCD Nation it's actually a, so a site about the FC Dallas soccer program and on this particular site this runs a hundred percent on autopilot I don't touch it at all and really here what I've gone and done is collected um, uh, RSS feeds from around the web uh, things that pertain to soccer specifically anything that pertains to soccer uh, with FC Dallas or at Pizza Hut Park and I've entered it into BuzzBurner much like I, I showed you in some of the other videos for um, the dot-com report have these campaigns run you can see this this runs every hour so this runs quite extensively it's hundred percent automated and you can see here it's this one's run a total of five thousand eight hundred forty three times created almost nine hundred posts and fourteen hundred items so it it really runs collects a lot of data it's constantly running and you can see all the posts when it runs if you if you if I just edit this I'll show you that everything that runs and is populated is sent straight to um, uh, post status so it's all automatically published as soon as it pulls it so if we go over here and we look at the site I'll just show you so this right here automatically pulled if we look right here that's a little excerpt that it pulled an ad and then you can see it says we have some great FC Dallas news updates for you right now take a look at and leave your thoughts in the comments so this right here was just a random title that we had entered that it grabbed and populated in here gives the snippet gives an image a hundred percent on autopilot so whether you want to have a site that runs a hundred percent on autopilot which most of ours do or you want to have a site like the dot-com report where the data is pulled collected sorted shifted only presenting to you the most up-to-date current information for you then to pick something uh, or pick the content that you want to leave that's up to you. BuzzBurner allows you, gives you full, complete control over uh, how the posts are built and created for you. So um, I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of an actual post running with BuzzBurner, and I look forward to working with you with BuzzBurner. Thanks a lot.